This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Michael will be in Dallas, Texas. Hey, Michael, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Better than I deserve. What's up? So my wife and I are kicking the tires on a Roth conversion, and I wanted to run this plan by you to see if you think it's a good idea. Uh, Here's some uh, information about our situation. I'm 42. My wife is 39. We have a net worth just north of $1 million. Um, No debts. We have approximately... House is paid off. Yes, sir. Way to go. Mm -hmm. Well done. 42-year-old millionaire. How much of this million dollars did you inherit? Zero. Okay, cool. All right. So what's your, what, what's the rest of the question then? Oh, so we, I have about, we have about 240,000 in traditional funds mm-hmm. and most of that's from company match from mm-hmm. over the years. Mm-hmm. So what I'd like to do, oh, and by the way, on our budget, we use all the extra margin to just about max out our retirement funds, mm-hmm. Roth, 401k and IRA. Mm-hmm. What I'd like to do is bring that down to, um, the bare minimum in order to capitalize on my company match and then use that uh, amount to basically pay the taxes over a three year period to be around 25,000 a year to convert the traditional funds over to a Roth. But I don't know if, if that's a good idea long-term, it seems like it would be. Um, Okay. What what is it? What is it we're reducing to do this? My my retirement contribution, and it, that's going into Roth. It's it is going into Roth, correct? Yeah. Right. So it's IRAs a, it's, it's a complete day. wash. Then you're you're gaining. Yes, no, it would be. Yeah, you're not gaining. But, you're not gaining any ground by doing this, other than you've got this moved over into Roth. What's your household income? Uh, One hundred seventy-five a year. Why don't you cash flow the twenty-five and leave your retirement where it was? Yeah, yeah, I, I I talked to my wife about that. She doesn't want to reduce the budget any further <laughs> in order to cash flow it, um, at least over a three-year period. We could probably do it over a longer period of time. Let's do it over a little bit longer then. Let's put it on five if we have to. And then any raises you get during that five go to the increasing the, the speed of this, not to increasing lifestyle. Okay, okay. So yeah. definitely a better idea to cash flow. Yeah. Than- I, I love the idea. We are at baby step seven. I like getting mm-hmm. everything into Roth. Okay. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going to happen to you in about 20 years. You're going to be really glad it's in Roth. That's where I'm sitting. I moved everything sure. into Roth and I move all my match into Roth at the end of every year. And I pay the taxes just mm-hmm. like you're talking about. You're in baby step seven. This folks is for only those of you that are in baby step seven and only those of you that can cash flow the taxes without using some of your, I wouldn't use any of the 240 either to pay the taxes, by the way. So um, now, and here's why. So we got 240 by, by cash flowing 25 a year or 25 over whatever period of time, by cash flowing the 75,000, the taxes. Okay. What you're doing is mathematically, it is as if you have invested another 75000 in your retirement plan. That's what ends up happening because the Roth grows completely tax-free versus traditional. So you've converted that 75000 by by doing it outside of not reducing retirement and not reducing the 240 doing it with cash flow. It's as if you put that much more into retirement, which is brilliant, okay? And you're only going to do it one time. So here's why. 240 in seven years is 500 in seven more. You're 42. That, that, so when you're 49, mm-hmm. when you're, when you're 50, it's a million when you're 56. So you're going to have so much money in this account and your required minimum distributions at 72 and a half are going to clean your clock if you don't do this. And you can leave a Roth inherited to people and there's no taxes on it. If you leave a a traditional to people, there's taxes on it in your inheritance plan. There you go. So definitely do it. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about how to plan for retirement, visit RamseySolutions.com slash retire or click the link in the show notes.
Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com smartvester.